Freedom is a value that we hold dearly, or we can say all uh, nations, countries who are democratic always hold uh, dearly the value of freedom. But what is really freedom? The letter of Paul to the Romans brings us to that uh, uh, meaning. Freedom is not the absence of uh, any moral guidance. Many would say that freedom is to do anything one wants to, to do. But others will always say, hey, your freedom is limited when the freedom of others begins. Others would always say that freedom is something that we should hold dearly because our forefathers fought for it. You know, here in the Philippines right now, uh, just because uh, the leaders uh, are more prone to bow themselves to a foreign country, they will also follow and say it's better for us to be like that. But it is really an insult to the many national heroes who died for this freedom that we have. Just imagine fighting against the Spaniards, uh, colon the Spanish colonizers with just bolos and spears. And then came the Americans, and they fought with Americans, especially we have the Gregorio del Pilar, a very young person fighting in the Terra Pass against uh, uh, the American soldiers. The Americans have high powered guns, they have only their will to preserve freedom in this country. And then the young generations of today would like to, to give it away. We can be better off if we are just a province of this country. It's really sad because freedom is important in our own life as Filipinos. Our heroes died dearly for that. But is this a freedom that uh, Paul was saying? The freedom was Paul was saying was that it is the freedom, the best uh, uh, exercise of freedom is to obey the will of God. Surrender to his will. That is the ultimate freedom of every person. To do what is good and what is right and to avoid what is evil. And so Paul would say, if one is subjected to the law, he becomes slave to the law. And then he will be slave to sin because uh, the law was made in consequence to the sin of Adam. But if one lives in virtue of the grace that Christ had given, then we are free by faith. And so there is freedom here. In our life as Christians, we are free men and free women because Christ has given us by the, his death and resurrection that grace that freed us from the slavery to sin. But how many times, my dear brothers and sisters, in so the way free, we want to become slave once again by embracing sin, by not turning our backs away from it. And we always conclude that we are acting in freedom. And if people would tell us what is morally right from morally wrong, and they will always accuse us that they are uh, breaching their freedom. But freedom is not the capacity to do everything and anything what we want to do. The exercise of freedom is always tend, tending towards what is good, what is right, and what is true. Hence, the exercise of freedom is the obedience.
to the will of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.